Assalamu alaikum students, I am Vaseem Ikram. This is the 13th lecture in a series of 45 lectures on digital logic design. Kaise aap? Inshallah sab achche honge. Pishal lecture mein maine aapko ek challenge diya tha. You had to program uh, the Quinn McCluskey method. Kitno ne kiya hai usme. Aur wo kya jo hum circuit uh, soch rahe the odd prime numbers ka to detect an odd prime number between 0 to 31. Wo kuch expression aaya. बहुत सारों ने कर लिया नहीं किया आज इंशाल्लाह देखेंगे उसको हम जो था सर्किट जो था उसको हम सॉल्व करेंगे थ्रू क्विन में क्लस की मेथड जो एक्सप्रेशन था और फिर चेक करेंगे कि जो आपका आंसर है हमारा जो इधर आंसर आता है वो एक ही है या कुछ مختلف है टुडे वी विल इंशाल्लाह बी डिस्कसिंग कॉम्बिनेशनल लॉजिक नाउ इफ यू रिमेंबर इन द वेरी फर्स्ट लेक्चर वी मेंशन दैट गेट्स डू नॉट परफॉर्म एनी यूजफुल फंक्शन यू हैव टू कंबाइन गेट्स इन डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स to form a, a logic, a function, which does something useful. For example, comparative circuit or the odd uh, prime number circuit or the odd parity circuit, they combine gates in different forms, in different manners and they form a circuit. So basically, combination uh, logic is a combination of gates. Kaise connect karenge? Wo aaj hum dekhenge. But before we start our discussion on combination logic, let us revise the topics which we did in the last lecture. And we also need to complete our discussion on the odd prime number the checker circuit. Now, in the last lecture, we started our discussion with uh, functions having multiple outputs. Now, comparator circuit ki humne example li thi, jiske char inputs the, three outputs the. To usko kaise humne uski expressions likhni? Basically, we would have a truth table with four variables, sixteen possible inputs, three different outputs aa rahi hain. So we would have three different expressions representing each output. Expressions kaise aayengi? We had three different Karnoff maps. Then we talked about the Quinn McCluskey method. Quinn McCluskey method we said is a better method or a method which allows us to uh, simplify expressions having large variables, uh, more variables. So, char variables tak to kind of map apka kaam karega, uske baad kind of map kaam nahi karega. So, variables, expressions having variables 5, 6, and 7, Quinn McCluskey method would be applied. Quinn McCluskey method we said is based on a program. Program hoga just get through up uh, solve karenge. It is a two step method. First step me kya karenge? Basically, uh, you find the prime implicants. Prime implicants kaise dhoonte Basically, you compare all the uh, terms and you try to remove single variables one at a time. When you are unable to remove any variables, that means you have completed step one. Step two mein kya karte hai? Basically, you have that uh, set of prime implicants, the important uh, product terms. From those uh, uh, essential uh, prime implicants, you uh, select the, the, the minimal product terms which represent your expression. Un mein se kuch redundant honge jin ki zhurut nahi hai, you can just simply discard them. At the end of uh, last lecture, we talked about uh, uh, finding the expression for a odd prime number generator. Jo prime number tha hamara, odd prime number, uh, jo input number range tha from 0 to 31. So, 0 to 31, we require 5 variables. 5 variables ko solve karna, karna of map se mushkil hai, Quinn McCluskey method abne apply karna. So, pishri dafa hamne sare steps discuss kiye the. Let us have a look at the actual uh, information or the data which we require and which we use. The function for odd prime numbers in the range 0 to 31 is defined in canonical sum form as sigma a, b, c, d, e and the min terms 1, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29 and 31. The min terms represent the odd prime numbers. The min terms along with the variables a, b, c, d and e are written in a tabular form. Each min term is represented in terms of its binary value. We refer to this table as table 1. The table of min terms is reorganized in terms of groups of min terms having 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 ones. Thus, min terms 1 has a single one. The min terms 3, 5 and 17 have two ones each. 
the min terms 7, 11, 13 and 19 have 3 ones each. The min term 23 and 29 have 4 ones and min term 31 has 5 ones. This table is referred to as table 2. Min term 1 is compared with min terms 3, 5 and 17 in the next group. Similarly, each of the 3 min terms 3, 5 and 17 are compared with each of the min terms in the next group having 3 ones that is min terms 7, 11, 13 and 19. Min terms 7, 11, 13 and 19 are compared with each of the min terms in the next group having 4 ones that is min terms 23 and 29. Lastly, each of the 2 min terms 23 and 29 are compared with the min term 31 in the last group having all ones or 5 ones. The results of the comparisons between 2 min terms are represented in a separate table referred to as table 3. The first column lists the min terms that have been compared together to eliminate common variables. So terms 1 and 3 form a single term eliminating variable d forming the product term a bar, b bar, c bar, e. The comparison terms 1 and 3 are marked as used in table 2. Similarly, terms 1 and 5 form a single term eliminating variable c forming the product term a bar, b bar, d bar, e. Both these terms are marked as used in table 2. Terms 1 and 17 eliminate variable a, terms 3 and 7 eliminate variable c, terms 3 and 11 eliminate variable b and so on. As a result of comparison, a total of 14 four variable product terms are formed, eliminating a single variable from each term. All the 14 terms are represented in table 3. The exhaustive search for finding prime implicants has not completed. An unmarked term represents a prime implicant. The results of the comparisons between two terms in table 3 are represented in a separate table referred to as table 4. The first column lists the terms that have been compared together to eliminate common variables. So terms 1, 3, 5 and 7 form a single term eliminating variables C and D forming the product term A bar, B bar, E. The comparison terms 1, 3 and 5, 7 are marked as used in table 3. Similarly, terms 1, 3, 17 and 19 form a single term eliminating variables A and D forming the product term B bar, C bar, E. Both these terms are marked as used in table 3. Product terms in table 4 are compared to eliminate common variables. No more comparisons of terms and elimination of variables takes place. Thus, the prime implicants have been found. There are three prime implicants in table 4 and five prime implicants in table 3. The eight prime implicants are represented by the product terms A bar, C bar, D E, A bar, C, D bar, E, B, C, D bar, E, A, C, D, E, A, B, C, E, A bar, B bar, E, B bar, C bar, E and B bar D E. In the second step of Quinn McCluskey's method, the essential and minimal prime implicants are found. The prime implicants found in the first step are listed in the leftmost column of the table. The table is referred to as table 5. All the original min terms are listed in the top row. So the min terms are 1, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29 and 31. In each cell, an X is marked indicating that the prime implicant listed in the left column covers the min term mentioned in the top row. Thus, the prime implicant A bar, C bar, D covers the min terms 1 and 5. In other words, min terms 1 and 5 all have the product terms A bar, C bar, D. The table 5 can be directly implemented from table 3 and 4. Circles are marked in cells having X which represent min terms covered by only a single prime implicant. Thus, the min terms 11 and 17 are covered by only the prime implicants A bar, C bar, D E and B bar, C bar, E respectively. 
these implicants do not cover all the min terms. The other essential min uh, implicants that have minimum number of variables and which cover all the remaining min terms are B C D bar E, A C D E and A bar B bar E. Thus, the simplified expression that represents the odd prime number in the range 0 to 31 is represented by the product terms A bar, C bar, D E, B, C, D bar, E, A, C, D, E, A bar, B bar, E and B bar, C bar, E. We just looked at the expression derived for the odd uh, prime number uh, checkered circuit. I hope uh, the expression which we have derived here is the same as the expression which you uh, derived using your program. Okay, let us start with the combinational logic. Combinational logic as we said uh, is basically combining or combination of different gates. Ek akele mein gate jo hai, and gate ya or gate ya koi bhi gate ho, it cannot perform any useful function. So, they have to be joined together, they have to be combined together to form or to uh, do some useful function. On what basis can we combine these gates? Basically, the expression which represents a function is used to implement the circuit. So, we have a boolean expression which let us say represents the add function. We have a boolean expression which represents the odd prime number checker circuit. We have an expression which represents the comparator circuit and so on. The last step would be to implement these expressions using combination logic or uh, different gates combined together. Now, we have studied two forms of expressions the sum of product form and the product of sum form. So, if you are going to be implementing a circuit or a combination logic circuit, it has to be based on these two expressions either the sum of product form or the product of sum form. Now, considering the sum of product form expression, basically it has product terms which are added together. So, how would you implement a circuit combination logic circuit which is based on this sum of product form? Basically, it would have number of AND gates, each AND gate would be implementing one of the product terms. You would have a single OR gate which would be adding all the product ter uh, terms together. So, the outputs of all the AND gates would be connected to the input inputs of the single OR gate. Now, each of the product terms have uh, complemented input or uncomplemented input. So, for example, you have the product term A B bar, right. So, how would you implement A B bar? Basically, you have an AND gate, one of the inputs is connected to A, the other input is connected to B complemented. So, B complement, how would you obtain that? By using a NOT gate. So, basically, implementing a sum of product expression using logic gates, you would have a circuit having three levels of gates. The first level of gates would have the OR gate, which basically sums up all the product terms. The second level would be comprising of all the AND gates, which uh, uh, generate the product terms. The third level of gates would comprise of the inverters, the NOT gates, which uh, complement the different variables and provide them as an input to the AND gates. So, three levels of gates. Now, considering the product of some form of expression, in the product of some form of uh, um, Boolean expression, you have some terms which are ANDed together through an AND gate. So, again if you are going to be implementing a product of some expression, you would again have a combinational circuit having three levels of gates. First level would be comprised of the AND gate. The second level would be comprised of the OR gates, which in fact generate some terms. And the third level would be comprised of the inverters or the NOT gates, which provide complemented inputs to the OR gates. Let us have a look at the general architecture of uh, the sum of product form of expression, uh, the implementation of sum of product uh, expression and the implementation of product of sum expression. The diagram shows the general architecture of the sum of product implementation. Sum of product expression is implemented by the AND OR combination of gates. The AND gates produce the product terms, 
output of all the AND gates are connected to a single multiple input OR gate for some of products. The product terms comprise of literals in their complemented form and uncomplemented form which are implemented by NOT gates connected to the inputs of the AND gates. The diagram shows the general architecture of the product of sum implementation. Product of sum expression is implemented by the OR AND combination of gates. The OR gates produce the sum terms. Outputs of all the OR gates are connected to a single multiple input AND gate for product of sum terms. The sum terms comprise of literals in their complemented form and uncomplemented form which are implemented by NOT gates connected to the inputs of the OR gates. We have just looked at two generalized form of combinational circuits. One form is basically the implementation of sum of product expression. The other implementation is basically the, uh, the, uh, the implementation of product of sum uh, Boolean expression. Now, let us look at the entire method. Where do you start? How do you design a circuit? How do you implement a circuit? Let us take an example, the example of a 2 bit adder. Now, what does a 2 bit adder do? Basically, it adds 2 numbers and each number is of 2 bits. The answer would again be of 2 bits, but a carry might be generated. So, basically, the function of a 2 bit adder is to add. Okay. How would you represent the function? Basically, you would draw out a truth table where you would have all the possible inputs and the outputs. Now, how many inputs do you need and how many outputs do you need? Basically, you need 4 inputs representing the 2 2 bit numbers and 2 bit output. The adder of course, also generates a carry. So, you need another single bit output representing the carry. The adder might also add a previous carry. So, it needs another carry input pin. So, now you have defined the function of the adder through a truth table, you have defined the number of inputs and the number of outputs. What do you do next? Basically, you have to represent this function in the form of an expression, a Boolean expression. So, how many outputs do you have? You have basically three outputs, the two uh, sum outputs and the carry output. Now, you can directly implement a combination circuit from the truth table. Now, the truth table remember has three outputs, it would have different combinations of ones and zeros. Now, to implement let us say the carry output, you would select the main terms for which the carry output has been set to 1. So, what would be the circuit in terms of sum of product forms? You would have AND gates which would be generating the product terms for different input combinations the outputs of all those AND gates would be connected to a single OR gate. The output of the OR gate, single OR gate would represent the carry out function. Similarly, for the two um, uh, outputs representing the sum, again you would represent uh, or implement a circuit having multiple AND gates and OR gate. Now, if you implement a circuit directly from the function table, it would of course work, but it would use a large number of gates. Now, if you have large number of gates in your circuit, what happens? Basically, it occupies a large area. The circuit size is going to increase. The power requirement is going to increase. The propagation delay is going to increase. So, perhaps it would not be able to work at high frequencies. Now, the best option is to first simplify the expression. How do you simplify the expression? You have the function table which completely, uh, completely represents the adder function. Now, for each output, you have to come up with a Boolean expression. Use a Carnot map or the Quinn McCluskey method or an appropriate method to simplify the expression. The simplified Boolean expression can then be implemented using combination circuits, logic gates. Now, the combination circuit formed after having simplified the Boolean expression would be simpler, smaller, power requirement would be low and perhaps propagation delay would be low. So, uh, we are going to be looking at some examples which describe such circuits. Let us go through this design uh, procedure. 
we would be designing a circuit. First of all, we would be defining its function, then perhaps we would be defining its expression and then implementing the combinational circuit. Now, the circuit which we are going to design is an adjacent 1 detector. What is an adjacent 1 detector? Let us suppose you have 4 bits 1, 0, 1, 1. Now, in 1, 0, 1, 1, you have 2 adjacent 1s. So, if your circuit looks at these 4 bits, it should be able to detect the 2 adjacent 1s. If you have another number 1, 0, 1, 0, now you do not have any adjacent 1s, so your circuit should not be able to detect that. Now, first of all, we would be defining the function of this adjacent 1 detector circuit. Once we have defined the function, then we can either directly implement a combination circuit from the function table or we could uh, have a simple expression represented through a Karnoff map and then implement that. We can also implement a combination circuit based on NAND gates. So, let us have a look at uh, the different uh, implementations. The adjacent 1's detector circuit accepts a 4 bit binary input and generates a 1 output when it detects a combination of 2 adjacent 1's. The function diagram shows the 16 possible input combinations and the corresponding outputs. Thus, for the input combinations 0 0 1 1, 0 1 1 0, 0 1 1 1, 1 0 1 1, 1 1 0 0, 1 1 0 1, 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 1, the output function is a 1. The information provided by the function table can be directly implemented to form the adjacent 1's detector circuit. Now, how many AND gates are required? Basically, 8 gates are required to implement the 8 min terms. As you can see from the function table, the output f is set to 1 for 8 different min terms. So, 8 AND gates are required to implement the 8 product terms. How many OR gates are required? Since it is a sum of product implementation, therefore, all the product terms have to be summed together. So, a single OR gate is required. The OR gate has 8 inputs. Some NOT gates are also required to implement complemented literals in some of the product terms. The sum of product based implementation of the adjacent 1's detector circuit is shown implemented directly from the function table. The implementation uses maximum number of gates. The total gate count is a single 8 input OR gate, 8 4 input AND gates and 10 NOT gates. Altogether, 19 gates are required to complete the circuit. The increased number of gates increases the cost the size of the circuit, the power requirement and the propagation delay which is of the order of 3 gates. An appropriate way to implement the adjacent 1's detector circuit is to simplify the SOP or the sum of product boolean expression represented by the function table and then implement the circuit based on the simplified expression. The function table information is directly mapped to a 4 variable Karnoff map. The 1's are grouped together forming 3 product terms. The 3 product terms are A, B, C, D and B, C. The simplified circuit is implemented using 3 2 input AND gates and a single 3 input OR gate. The total circuit count is 4 gates. The cost of the circuit reduces, the size of the circuit reduces, the power requirement of the circuit reduces and the propagation delay has reduced from 3 gate delay to 2 gate delay. The simplified 4 gate circuit can be implemented using only NAND gates without a change in the total number of gates. Bubbles representing NOT gates are placed at the output of the 3 AND gates converting the 3 AND gates to NAND gates. To balance out the 3 NOT gates added at the outputs of the 3 AND gates, 3 bubbles representing 3 NOT gates are also placed at the 3 inputs of the OR gate. The resulting OR gate symbol with 3 bubbles at the 3 inputs is an alternate symbol for a 3 input NAND gate. The NAND gate based circuit is shown. We have looked at 3 different implementations of the uh, ones adjacent uh, detector circuit. Basically, we started with the standard uh, sum of product expression 
इफ यू लुक एट द फंक्शन टेबल यू सी डिफरेंट मिन टर्म्स अगर वो सारे मिन टर्म्स आप लिख लें यू वुड हैव ए स्टैंडर्ड सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट एक्सप्रेशन उसको अगर डायरेक्टली हर मिन टर्म को इम्प्लीमेंट कर लें थ्रू एन एंड गेट यू वुड हैव द कम्प्लीट सर्किट ना दिस पर्टिकुलर सर्किट रिक्वायर्स लार्ज नंबर ऑफ गेट्स सो दिस सर्किट साइज ऑफ कोर्स इंक्रीज दूसरी हमने इम्प्लीमेंटेशन देखी थी If you uh, simplify the expression, basically वो जो फंक्शन टेबल में सारे मेन टर्म्स हैं वो आप मैप कर दें कार्न ऑफ मैप में उसको सिम्प्लीफाई करें यू एंड अप विद थ्री प्रोडक्ट टर्म्स और uh, अगर उसको आप इम्प्लीमेंट करें यू गेट ए वेरी सिंपल सर्किट कम्पोज ऑफ फोर गेट्स तीन उनमें से एंड गेट्स हैं और एक और गेट है द लास्ट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन विच वी सॉ वॉज द नैन गेस्ट बेस्ड इम्प्लीमेंटेशन सारे जो गेट्स हैं उनको हमने कन्वर्ट कर दिए इन द फॉर्म ऑफ नैन गेट्स सो इन तीनों सर्किट्स का जो आउटपुट है या फंक्शन है वो बिल्कुल आइडेंटिकल है ना वी हैव बीन सेंग दैट इफ यू हैव ए फंक्शन टेबल वेर यू हैव ऑल द मेन टर्म्स एंड द मैक्स टर्म्स यू कैन फॉर्म टू डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन ए प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सम एक्सप्रेशन एंड सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट एक्सप्रेशन ना दोनों एक्सप्रेशंस जो हैं एक ही बात कर रही हैं वो दोनों का आउटपुट जो है एक ही आएगा नाउ इफ यू इम्प्लीमेंट बोथ दिस एक्सप्रेशंस थ्रू एंड और गेट्स और और एंड गेट्स द आउटपुट ऑफ द सर्किट वुड बी आइडेंटिकल सो लेट्स चेक दैट अभी हमने जो तीन सर्किट इम्प्लीमेंट किए थे बेसिकली वो सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट एक्सप्रेशन पे बेस्ड थे अब हम जो है दोबारा से सर्किट बनाएंगे इट दे वुड बी बेस्ड ऑन द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सम एक्सप्रेशन सो उसी तरह यू हैव द सेम फंक्शन टेबल उसमें अब मैक्स टर्म्स जो हैं वो आपने सारे लिख लेनी है सो यू वुड हैव ए स्टैंडर्ड प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सम एक्सप्रेशन अब उसको कैसे इम्प्लीमेंट करेंगे बेसिकली हर जो मैक्स टर्म है दैट वुड बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड थ्रू एन और गेट सो यू वुड हैव नंबर ऑफ और गेट्स बेसिकली अगर आप देखें एट मैक्स टर्म्स आपको फंक्शन टेबल में नजर आ रही हैं सो यू वुड हैव एट और गेट्स ना द आउटपुट ऑफ ऑल दोज एट और गेट्स वुड बी कनेक्टेड टू एन एंड गेट ऑफकोर्स विच इज डूइंग वट इट इज डूइंग द सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स और एदर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सम्स द एंड गेट हैज एट इनपुट्स ऑफकोर्स सो लेट एस हैव ए लुक एट द थ्री डिफरेंट सर्किट्स उसको दोबारा से बाद में समराइज करेंगे the product of some based implementation of the adjacent ones detector circuit is shown implemented directly from the function table this implementation uses maximum number of gates the total gate count is 1 8 input and gate 8 4 input or gates and 10 not gates altogether 19 gates are required now the gates required in this uh, product of sum implementation are equal to the gates required in the sum of uh, product implementation so the increased number of gates mean increased cost of the circuit the size of the circuit of course increases the power requirement increases and the propagation delay is of the order of 3 gates an appropriate way to implement the adjacent ones detector circuit is to simplify the product of some boolean expression represented by the function table and then from the simplified uh, boolean expression the circuit can be implemented the circuit of course would be simpler as compared to the standard product of some based expression the function table information is directly mapped to a four variable karnoff map the zeros are grouped together forming three sum terms the three terms are a plus c b plus c and b plus d the simplified uh, product of sum based circuit is implemented using three two input or gates and a single three input and gate the total circuit count is four gates the cost of the circuit reduces the size of the circuit reduces the power requirement of the circuit reduces and the propagation delay has reduced from three gate delay to two gate delay the simplified four gate circuit can be implemented using only nor gates without a change in the total number of gates bubbles representing not gates are placed at the output of the three or gates converting the three or gates to nor gates to balance out the three not gates added at the outputs of the three or gates three bubbles representing three not gates are also placed at the three inputs of the and gate the resulting and gate symbol with three bubbles at the three inputs is an alternate symbol for a three input nor gate the nor based circuit is shown 
Uh, we have seen three different implementations based on the product of some expression. The original circuit was based directly on the standard product of some expression. You have a function table, you have the max terms, you can just write out all the max terms and you can then directly implement each max term using an OR gate. Basically, max terms which are represent sum terms represent uh, Well, we have said that the appropriate way to implement a circuit is to first simplify the uh, Boolean expression representing the function of the circuit and then implement it. Uh, the idea is to reduce the circuit size to, to reduce the number of gates. Uh, we also looked at alternate ways of implementing circuits, basically NAND gates using all NAND gates you can implement a circuit, using all NOR gates you can implement a circuit. Q hum use karne, basically uh, we mentioned that a NAND gate is a universal gate, similarly a NOR gate is a universal gate. So if you have a NAND gate or a NOR gate, you can in, in fact implement any gate. So uh, by uh, implementing the um, same circuit, the adjacent ones circuit using NAND gates and NOR gates, we have proved that uh, actually you can represent any circuit using NAND and NOR gates. Ek fayda iska ye bhi hai ke uh, if you look at an IC integrated circuit, usme char NAND gates hain. So basically, when you are implementing a circuit which requires, let's say, four NAND gates, you can only use a single chip. Agar we circuit up uh, using an OR gate and get different gates, so different integrated circuits use honge. So again, the circuit size would increase. So it is better to implement a circuit uh, using the same set of gates. Now uh, we have talked about uh, two different ways of Im implementing combinational circuits. How do we look at the performance of a combination circuit? Just in the show me about Kitty, I've got a yard timing diagram. Kim me about Kitty timing diagrams can represent if you have a certain circuit, you apply certain inputs, and those inputs are changing over a period of time. So, you need to check the output for that certain period of time. Kaise karenge? Through a timing diagram. So, basically, uh, when you uh, implement the uh, adjacent ones uh, circuit, ya koi or bhi circuit, then you have to check its performance, its operation for a certain time period. Okay, us time period mein kaun se input supply karenge? Basically, aapne test karna hai ki wo jo function table aapne banaya, jiske tahat aapne ultimately circuit banaya tha, wohi wale inputs aap apply karenge aur dekhenge output pe kya wohi cheez aa rahi hai ki nahi. So basically, uh, we are now going to have a look at the timing diagram and see if our circuit actually gives the values which we are looking for. The timing diagram describes the operation of the circuit for the product of sum based simplified circuit for the intervals T0 to T8. A, B, C and D are the inputs to the circuit. The timing diagrams show the inputs A, B, C and D changing with time. The timing signals 1, 2 and 3 represent the outputs of the OR gates 1, 2 and 3. The timing signal F represents the output of the circuit. At interval T0, the input A, B, C, D to the circuit is 0, 0, 0, 0. The outputs of the three OR gates are 0, 0 and 0 and the circuit output is also 0. Now, this can be seen in the timing diagram for interval T0. Uh, the timing diagram 1, 2, 3 and F shows logic 0. At the interval T3, the input A, B, C, D to the circuit is 0, 0, 1, 1. Now, you have two adjacent ones, so the output of the circuit F should show a 1. Now, let us have a look at the timing diagram. The outputs of OR gates 1, 2 and 3 are all 1s as can be seen in the timing diagram. Uh, the output F is also a 1. At interval T6, the input A, B, C, D to the circuit is 0, 1, 1, 0. The outputs of OR gates 1, 2 and 3 are all 1s. The output F is 1 indicating adjacent 1s. The operation of the circuit which is based on product of sums simplified expression also proves that the product of sum based expression determined from the truth table and the Karnoff map results in a circuit 
which operates in an identical manner to that of a sum of product based circuit. We have just looked at the timing diagram of the adjacent ones uh, detector circuit. As you saw, we can represent all the inputs and the output and the uh, outputs of different gates within the circuit through a timing diagram. And then for different time intervals, we can in fact see the different outputs, the intermediate outputs and the inputs and we can verify the operation of the circuit. The other thing uh, which we saw in this particular diagram was that we used the product of some implementation of the circuit and we applied the uh, different inputs and we determined that the product of some circuit does give you the appropriate output. So, it is equivalent to a sum of product uh, circuit. Now, let us talk about active high levels and active low levels. What are active high and active low levels? Up till now, we have talked about different circuits. For example, uh, this particular circuit detecting adjacent ones. Now, if the circuit detects adjacent ones, what is the output? Basically, the output is 1. Well, we could have said that if the circuit detects adjacent ones, the output should be 0. इसी तरह हमने पहले भी सर्किट्स स्टडी किए थे जैसे कंपैरेटर सर्किट था कंपैरेटर सर्किट में वी हैड फोर इनपुट्स रिप्रेजेंटिंग टू टू बिट नंबर्स तो वो जब कंपेयर होते थे तो हमारे पास तीन आउटपुट्स थी तो अगर वो दोनों नंबर इक्वल हैं तो जो इक्वल वाली आउटपुट है उस पे 1 आ जाता था क्या उस पे 0 आ सकता है सो लेट अस सी नाउ इफ यू लुक एट द कंपैरेटर सर्किट उसके जो तीन आउटपुट्स हैं नॉर्मल स्टेट में क्या होते हैं तीनों जो आउटपुट्स हैं वो जीरो पे होते हैं इफ ए इज इक्वल टू बी तो वो जो इक्वल वाला आउटपुट है ए इक्वल टू बी वो क्या होता है उसकी स्टेट क्या होती है इट गोज टू लॉजिक वन और बाइनरी वन सिमिलरली इफ ए इज ग्रेटर देन बी नॉर्मल स्टेट में ए ग्रेटर टू बी जो आउटपुट है वो क्या होगा जीरो है जब भी ए बिकम्स ग्रेटर देन बी द आउटपुट गोज टू वन सिमिलरली The output a less than b normal state में zero होगा जब भी number a is less than b the output goes to one. So basically हम इस circuit के output को कहेंगे it is an active high, right? The output is active high or logic high. Now we could design this comparator circuit uh, so that the outputs normal state में जो है outputs वो one हो जब भी a equals to b हो आउटपुट जीरो हो जाए इसी तरह जब भी ए इज ग्रेटर देन बी आउटपुट जीरो हो जाए इसी तरह ए जब भी लेस देन बी हो आउटपुट जीरो हो जाए इस किस्म का अगर जब सर्किट होगा उसको कहेंगे उसकी जो आउटपुट है द आउटपुट स्टेट इज एक्टिव लो और लॉजिक लो ओके ये जो हमने कंपेरेटर सर्किट बनाया था इसकी स्टेट जो है आउटपुट स्टेट है आउटपुट हाई एक्टिव हाई इसको अगर एक्टिव एक्टिव लो बनाना है तो क्या करेंगे बेसिकली हम आउटपुट्स पे इन्वर्टर्स लगा देंगे इन्वर्टर्स को सिंबॉलिकली uh, कैसे रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं बाय बबल सो बेसिकली अगर कंपेरेटर सर्किट के डायग्राम के आउटपुट पे अगर बबल्स लगा दें इट वुड इंडिकेट एन एक्टिव लो आउटपुट इसी तरह किसी के किसी भी सर्किट के इनपुट को भी एक्टिव लो बनाया जा सकता है कंसिडरिंग द कंपेरेटर सर्किट इसको जब हम वन uh, देते हैं वन इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय ऑफ कोर्स बाइनरी वन वी कुड से दैट वन इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय लॉजिक जीरो सो अगर लॉजिक जीरो दे रहे हैं फॉर द सर्किट टू वर्क इट शुड इन्वर्ट इट एंड टेक इट एज ए वन सो क्या करेंगे इनपुट पे भी हमें बबल लगाना पड़ेगा सो दैट मीन्स द कंपेटर सर्किट इज एक्सेप्टिंग एन एक्टिव लो इनपुट और लॉजिक लो इनपुट Let us look at the adjacent ones circuit. A normal state में adjacent one का output क्या है It is zero. जब भी वो adjacent ones detect करता है output क्या हो जाता है One हो जाता है तो इसका जो output है it is active high. ठीक है अगर इसको active low बनाना है that means normal state में output पे one दे रहा हो जो ही वो दो adjacent ones detect करता है output zero हो जाना चाहिए So then the circuit would become, the output would become active low. एक्टिव लो आउटपुट बनाने के लिए क्या करना पड़ेगा उसके आउटपुट पे इन्वर्टर लगाना पड़ेगा इन्वर्टर को कैसे रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं थ्रू ए बबल सो डायग्राम में अगर एडजस्ट वन सर्किट के आउटपुट पे बबल नजर आ रहा है तो इसका मतलब है इट हैज एन एक्टिव लो आउटपुट 
سیمیلرلی ایجسٹن ون کا جو سرکٹ ہے اس کے انپورٹ کو ہم ایکٹیو لو بنا سکتے ہیں اس میں جو ہم ایجسٹن ونز ڈیڈیک کر رہے ہیں ونز کیسے بیسکلی ریپزنٹ کرتے ہیں بائی بائنری ونز لیٹ سپوس اگر اس ایجسٹن ون سرکٹ کو ایکٹیو لو انپورٹ دیں تو کیا کرنا ہوگا اس کے انپورٹ پہ ایک انورٹر لگانا ہوگا سو اگر ڈائیگرام اس کا دیکھا جائے ایجسٹن ون سرکٹ کا اس کے انپورٹ پہ بابز آپ کو نظر آئیں گے bubbles would of course indicate that the the input is active low now let us consider the four gates which we talked about the and gate the nand gate the or gate and the nor gate agar and gate ke agar symbol ko aap yaad ho uske dono inputs jo hain wo active high hain right so one and one output kya aa raha hai it is an active high output one and one gives you one output NAND gate کو اگر دیکھیں NAND gate کا symbol جو ہے it is similar to that AND gate symbol with a bubble at the output کیسے کام کرتا ہے basically one and one active highs inputs output پہ کیا آ رہا ہے zero آ رہا ہے active low output OR gate کو ذرا دیکھیں OR gate کے جو دونوں input ہیں ادھر bubble نہیں ہیں that means one OR one دونوں active high inputs ہیں output پہ کیا آ رہا ہے اگر دونوں میں سے کوئی بھی ایک ون ہو دی آؤٹپوٹ اس ای ون سو آؤٹپوٹ اس ایکٹیو ہائی نور گیٹ کو دیکھیں نور گیٹ کا سمبل it's similar to or gate but it has a bubble at the output so what does this mean نور گیٹ کے انپوٹ پہ اگر دو ایکٹیو ہائی دیں ون اور ون دی آؤٹپوٹ اس زیرو ایکٹیو لو ہونا چاہیے ٹھیک ہے so just remember this rule کوئی بھی سرکٹ جو ہو وہ ایکٹیو ہائی انپوٹ ہو سکتا ہے ایکٹیو ہائی آؤٹپوٹ ہو سکتا ہے ایکٹیو لو انپوٹ ہو سکتا ہے ایکٹیو ہائی ایکٹیو لو آؤٹپوٹ ہو سکتا ہے کمبینیشن بھی ہو سکتی ہے ایکٹیو ہائی انپوٹ ایکٹیو لو آؤٹپوٹ اسی طرح ایکٹیو لو انپوٹ ایکٹیو ہائی آؤٹپوٹ سو ڈیفن فور کمبینیشنز ہو سکتی ہیں اس میں انفیکٹ ابھی جو ہم نے ٹوز ایجسن سرکٹ بنا ہے اس کو ہم ایکٹیو لو بنا کے دیکھتے ہیں اس میں تو لیٹ اس سی and let's have a diagram which come check curtain through a timing diagram let us quickly have a look at the four gates and gate performs and operation on two active high inputs to result in an active high output similarly NAND gate performs and operation on two active high inputs resulting in an active low output or gate performs or operation on two active high inputs to result in an active high output Similarly, NOR gate performs OR operation on two active high inputs to result in an active low output. The simplified sum of product based implementation has an active high output. The circuit can be implemented to have an active low output by connecting a NOR gate at the output of the circuit. Now, whenever adjacent ones are detected, the circuit output is set to zero. The circuit is also shown to have active high inputs. The circuit can work with active low inputs producing an active high output if NOT gates are connected to the inputs of all the AND gates. Consider now the sum of product based circuit which has active high inputs and active high outputs. If the inputs of the circuit are made active low and the output of the circuit is also made active low then bubbles are added at all inputs of the three AND gates. A bubble is also added to the output of the OR gate. The bubbles added at the input of the AND gate represent the alternate symbol for the NOR gate. Similarly, the bubble added to the output of the OR gate also makes it a NOR gate. By modifying the circuit to have active low inputs and outputs, the circuit sets the output F to active 0 to indicate detection of adjacent ones. Since the inputs are also represented by active low, therefore the input ABCD equals to 0, 0, 0, 0 actually represents 1, 1, 1, 1. Similarly, ABCD active low input 0, 0, 0, 1 actually represents 1, 1, 1, 0. Let us now have a look at the timing diagram. The timing diagram describes the operation of the circuit for the intervals T0 to T8. The timing signals A, B, C and D represent the active low inputs applied at the inputs of the circuit. The timing signals 1, 2 and 3 represent the outputs of the NOR gates 1, 2 and 3 respectively. The timing signal F represents the active low output. At interval T0, 
the active low input at inputs a b c d is 0 0 0 0 which actually represents 1 1 1 1. The active low output f is 0 which indicates that adjacent ones have been detected. Similarly, at intervals t 1 to t 4 the active low inputs a b c d are 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 and 0 1 0 0 which actually actually represents the numbers 1 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 and 1 0 1 1. The output is 0 indicating that adjacent ones have been detected. Up till now we have been assuming that logic circuits work with an active uh, logic level of 1. Jab bhi activate honge to logic level 1 hona chahiye. Zuri nahi hai. As we have seen in the example, uh, logic circuits can operate with active levels as zeros and 1s. So, uh, in the course we will see different circuits jo 0 pe bhi activate ho rahe or 1 pe bhi activate ho rahe different examples dekhing hain. Now, let us look at an another example. The example of a odd parity generator. हम सर्किट बनाएंगे जो के ऑड पैरिटी जनरेट करेगा नाउ इफ यू रिमेंबर वी मेंशंड दैट व्हेन वी ट्रांसमिट डाटा फ्रॉम वन एंड टू द अदर एंड उसमें कुछ बिट्स जो हैं वो खराब हो सकते हैं ड्यू टू सम एक्सटर्नल नॉइस जीरो से वन हो जाएगा वन से जीरो हो जाएगा सो बाय एडिंग ए पैरिटी बिट वी कैन डिटेक्ट ए सिंगल बिट एरर ओके okay, होगा क्या वी हैव लेट्स से फोर बिट डाटा वो हमने एक एंड से दूसरे एंड पे भेजना है हम क्या करेंगे साथ में एक पैरिटी बिट जो होगी दैट मींस फाइव बिट डाटा हम भेजेंगे दूसरे एंड पे नाउ अगर हम ऑड पैरिटी यूज कर रहे हैं दैट मींस जो चार बिट डाटा है उसमें हम नंबर ऑफ वंस काउंट करेंगे अगर वो जीरो है टोटल नंबर ऑफ वंस इज जीरो देन द पैरिटी शुड बी सेट टू वन तो जो पाँच बिट जाएगा उसमें पैरिटी वन होगी अगर जो चार बिट डाटा है उसमें जो नंबर ऑफ वंस हैं वो ऑड नंबर है एक है या तीन है देन द पैरिटी बिट वुड बी सेट टू जीरो सो द टोटल नंबर ऑफ वंस इन द फाइव बिट डाटा रिमेंस एन ऑड नंबर नाउ सर्किट जो है ऑड बिट पैरिटी जनरेटर का कैसे बनाएगा वेल लेट अस जस्ट डिस्कस दैट बेसिकली हमने एक फंक्शन टेबल बनाना है फंक्शन डायग्राम बनाना है विच वुड इंडिकेट द इनपुट्स एंड द अप्रोप्रेट आउटपुट्स जब फंक्शन डायग्राम बना लेंगे उससे हम डायरेक्टली एक सर्किट uh, बना सकते हैं जो सर्किट जो होगा काफ़ी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड होगा क्योंकि इट वुड हैव लार्ज नंबर ऑफ गेट्स वी कैन सिंप्लीफाई द एक्सप्रेशन एंड देन इंप्लीमेंट द सर्किट दैट वुड बी ए सिंपलर सर्किट एंड ऑफ कोर्स हैप्स इट वुड बी फास्टर प्रोपिकेशन डिले कम हो जाएगा पावर रिक्वायरमेंट्स कम हो जाएंगे एंड सोन उसके एडवांटेजेस हैं एज कम्पेयर टू दार्ज सर्किट implemented using the standard sum of product expression or product of sum expression okay let us first look at the function diagram of the odd parity generator circuit now let us assume that four bit data has to be sent so kitne inputs honge kitne variables honge basically char variables honge function table mein 16 different inputs hain that means wo jo char bit data hai uh, 16 different uh, combinations mein represent kar sakte hain usme नाउ आउटपुट क्या होगा आउटपुट एक ही होगा बेसिकली आउटपुट वुड बी द पैरिटी बिट विच हैज टू बी जनरेटेड सो फॉर एग्जांपल द डाटा इज जीरो 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 चारों बिट्स जीरो हैं सो पैरिटी बिट क्या होनी चाहिए क्योंकि ऑड पैरिटी बिट हम यूज कर रहे हैं तो ऑड पैरिटी बिट की वैल्यू वन होनी चाहिए सो आउटपुट वुड बी वन फॉर द इनपुट कॉम्बिनेशन जीरो 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 सिमिलरली अगर आपके इनपुट कॉम्बिनेशन जीरो 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 वन है तो आउटपुट पैरिटी बिट क्या होनी चाहिए बेसिकली टू कीप द नंबर ऑफ वंस इक्वल टू ऑड द पैरिटी बिट शुड बी जीरो सो सिमिलरली आप ये जो सोलह कॉम्बिनेशन हैं उनकी आप पैरिटी बिट डिटरमिन कर सकते हैं सो so, इस तरह आपका फंक्शन टेबल कंप्लीट हो जाएगा जैसे हमने पहले एग्जाम्पल एजेसन वंस के केस में किया था आप दो किस्म के एक्सप्रेशन इधर से बना सकते हैं दो किस्म के सर्किट्स बना सकते हैं उसमें सो लेट अस एज्यूम के इस केस में हम सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट एक्सप्रेशन को यूज़ करते हैं और उसी को हम इंप्लीमेंट करते हैं इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए सर्किट सो सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट एक्सप्रेशन क्या होगी जितने भी मिनटम्स आ रहे हैं इस फंक्शन में उनको अगर आप लिख लें एक्सप्रेशन की फॉर्म में और उनको आप इम्प्लीमेंट कर लें यूजिंग विच गेट्स सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट एक्सप्रेशन है वेल एंड गेट्स होंगे सो जितने भी जितने भी प्रोडक्ट टर्म्स हैं मिनटम्स हैं उनको आप इम्प्लीमेंट करेंगे यूजिंग एंड गेट्स 
इन सारे एंड गेट्स का जो आउटपुट है वो किसको कनेक्ट होगा एक और गेट को ओके सो बेसिकली ये आपका सर्किट बन जाएगा उसमें ना दिस एज आई सेट वुड यूज लार्ज नंबर ऑफ गेट्स इसको अगर हमने रिड्यूस करना है क्या करना होगा सिंप्लीफाई कर लें उसमें we would look at the detailed implementation of the uh, odd parity generator circuit in the next lecture uh, function diagram banayenge expression likhenge aur combination circuit banayenge till the next lecture khuda hafiz and assalam alaikum